The second approach to making good skin is the natural approach, and that is to use the actual texture that exists in the image and to try and repair and smooth and enhance it. The first way I like to do this is by using a great filter called Dust and Scratches. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select again the areas, the area that I want to work on, and I have a saved selection in here. I'm going to load that. It's called Face, and I'm just going to load that selection up. And once again, I'm going to do a copy merge so that I select the pixels both in the background and in my cleanup area, in my cleanup layer. And then I'm going to paste. And that pastes the merged pixels into their own layer. And I am going to call this dust. I will know what that means, and so will you very shortly. So what we're going to do is we're going to run the Dust and Scratches filter. It's under Noise, Dust and Scratches. And let's zoom in on the image so that we can see what's happening more clearly. So what Dust and Scratches does is two things. Radius, when you raise this, it blurs the image. And Threshold determines which pixels get blurred. If it's down at zero, all the pixels are being blurred. The higher you raise it, the fewer pixels are being blurred. And so what you do with Dust and Scratches is simply you first set Radius, Threshold all the way down to zero, and set Radius to a point where all of the blemishes are blurred away. In this particular image, we have not only blemishes, but we also have a lot of blotches. And Dust and Scratches doesn't work so well for that. So we're going to ignore the fact that the skin is still a little bit blotchy. And we're just looking at the blemishes. You can see that when I check and uncheck Preview, all the pores that are too big and little blemishes are completely gone at this radius. It's very blurry right now. So now I'm going to move the threshold up until the texture comes back. And what I want to do is play around with threshold and get it to a point where the skin has texture but not too much. And in this case, I'm going to set it to 12, I think looks pretty good. I can go up and down a few and see how that looks. And I think 9 looks a little too blurry to me. I'm just looking at this area here. I'm ignoring these parts, which I'm going to mask out very shortly. So we'll do a radius of 20 and a threshold of 12. And again, you can see the before and after as I check and uncheck preview. And I'm going to OK this. So again, here's before and here's after. Now there are areas that are way, way too blurry. Let me zoom out a little bit. Of course, I don't want those to be blurred at all. So I'm going to, again, mask out this whole layer. I'm going to hold down the Option key or the Alt key if you're on a PC. Click on the Layer Mask icon down there and add a Hide All Layer Mask. And then once again, I'm going to brush in with my paintbrush and a low opacity, or as I did before, I have mine set to other dynamics with a pen pressure control because I'm working with a pen and a, and a stylus and a, a pressure sensitive tablet. So if I weren't, I would set the opacity down to fairly low. So at this point, I'm painting with white ink, and I'm going to brush in the areas where I want to retain that dust and scratches filter. And that will be the areas that have pores that are too big and things like that. I'm staying away from the edges because I don't want those to turn blurry. So now having worked on just a little portion of it, if I option click here, you can see what my mask looks like by itself. And if I do a before and after, all of those big pores are gone. Now depending on the image, if you just have some large pores and small blemishes, this may be all you need to get absolutely perfect skin. 
in this case, we have a lot of blotches, so we're going to need to do some more in addition to d dust and scratches. So now let's move on and learn how to do some deblotching.